Hi everyone, it's Liz with Real Girl Beauty and today I have a mascara review. I want to preface this by saying this isn't really a negative review. Let me just get that out there. I'm not saying that this is a bad product. I don't feel that excited about it. Like I don't feel like it did enough of a difference to make all of the changes and all of the weirdness of it work. It is the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. Packaging looks like that. I always hold on to, to packaging. It's just like my thing. It is this weird brush. One side is straight across comb and the other side is this little bunched up puffy comb. Katy Perry is the spokesperson for this so it's been really really like advertised like crazy. It's their newest that I know of, new, newest mascara. The one that I got is waterproof, which again, I'm not a big fan. I feel like waterproof dries out in the container faster. It makes my eyelashes dry out a little more. They don't seem as glossy. I'm not a big fan of waterproof. I'd rather have regular and just use waterproof when I need it. This product separated my lashes very well. I'm actually wearing it right now. Let me zoom you guys in. So I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, as you can see, it really did a really good job of just separating my eyelashes out and making them look a little longer however they don't seem to be that much more volumized there isn't like this giant like wow your eyelashes are huge they look great your eyes are super formed it's not a bad product it's just a more natural looking product but you know i feel like i've got other products that are billed as natural and giving you more natural eyelashes this isn't this is billed as supposed to be this giant you know, really big lashes. And I just don't think it delivers on that. It's because of this that I really don't feel like I can recommend this mascara. It's a good product. It's separating my lashes. It's making them look longer. The little tiny comb was more helpful in getting lower lashes than it was in doing anything to the upper lashes. But because of the shape of it, it was actually really messy and I got mascara underneath and I had to kind of go in and correct it and try to fix it, which I hate doing. I always feel like it totally screws up my makeup. So I'm kind of not liking the little tiny comb side because I just don't see the point of it. Um, but like I said, I mean, they're billing this as this full, long, refined lashes and I just don't think it delivers on that. It's, it's too natural. So if you're looking for natural lashes, which during my everyday life that tends to be what I grab, um, this is an okay option. I think there are better options out there for more natural looking eyelashes. But this, if you can get this on sale and with a coupon, it would be worth giving a try if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for more volume, you're looking for more like, wow, those are your eyelashes. Wow, that looks fantastic. I would not try this. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and I will talk to you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.